find story, the dark side. Welcome back everybody to the Timber Worker channel. Uh, this week I'd like you in to introduce you to Luke who wants to be known as Lumber Worker and this week me and Luke are going to show you how we're going to make some shelves for his bedroom. Now the first thing that we need to do is get him all properly kitted out in some protective gear. There we go, safety first out there. So I've already cut some of the shelf supports uh, to a rough size. Um, what I did was I cut one first on the edge of the ply, so now I've got a nice square edge here. Uh, then I cut three more, which are not quite square. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this one and a flush trim route a bit um, and square everything off and match them all up. Um, I've got some double sided tape on the bottom, which I'm going to use just to hold them together. Because these are going to be on show, I don't want to screw things together. So, um, give me a second and Luke and I will get cracking. Okay, press the green button. Okay, so I've got these all now nicely squared off uh, on the straight edges. The curves are not quite uniform, uh, mainly because uh, my jigsawing skills weren't quite perfect to begin with. Um, but they're all now nice and square, um, 90, 90 degree angle, which I've checked on here. Uh, you know, so they'll, they'll be absolutely fine as the supporters because the front bit doesn't really matter. What I am going to do though is mix a bit of the leftover sawdust and some glue just to fill in the small holes uh, which just sort of the voids in the plywood and so I'll get those filled in and we can sand them up um, probably going to paint them either um, black or white not quite sure yet uh, and then we can make pocket holes uh, and screw them all together Hello. Right. so Got a bit of sawdust there. Just going to mix in a bit of the glue. This is where it all gets nice and messy. No, I... So we use Luke's fingers instead. No! That's my fingers, yours. Okay. So we just mix all that into a bit of a paste. Yeah. And then I'm just going to find any of those little holes and just squeeze some of that. I know some people prefer wood filler, um, but A, I don't have any, and B, we don't want to spend any money, do we?
okay so we've got these all sanded up um, we'll clean them up cover them up with some paint in a bit um, but the next thing on the list to do is correct okay so now we've got it all sanded up um, I brought the boards over here clamp them off in the vise on the workbench and we're going to just simply use this quick clamp that's it Luke you squeeze that trigger together keep squeezing let go squeeze again squeeze again keep squeezing and again let go and squeeze one more there we go right, so we've got that clamped off we've got a black and decker drill set up with the Craig drill bit and Luke is going to drill the first hole. Ready? Okay, we're not going to film every single hole, so me and Luke, we're going to get drilling and we'll see you again when we're ready for some screwing up. So we finished drilling all the pocket holes, that was lots of fun wasn't it Luke? Yeah, um, so we've got them all drilled, now that we've finished that, um, we've got to paint these shelves in white. Um, now we're going to do this outside, um, but unfortunately the British weather's decided against that and started to rain um, so I'm going to paint them on the workbench what you'll also see is that I've got some stencils on here um, so we're going to just paint over the top of those we'll peel them away at the end and then we'll have the plywood behind with the rest of the shelf white so it's going to look pretty awesome isn't it Luke I've got one for the dark side Somewhere around here, here we go. We've also got Luke Skywalker in the middle there as well. My name's that is correct. So let me get the painting all set up and we'll see you again in a minute. So we're all set for painting, two each, two of these to begin with, and we'll do the shelves in a minute. I Just going with one. some cheap trade emulsion. Um, because this is what happened to have lying underneath the workbench. So, I'm sure you're going to love this bit. So, see you again in a minute. Oh, I can't see. I'll do this <laughs> Okay, so we've got the first coat on. Um, it's all reasonably evenly covered uh, me and Luke got plenty down between us and as you can see Luke stayed very clean um, which is more than can be said for me so i just got to now wait for the paint to dry and then we'll come back again and do the second coat okay so we've left the shelves to dry overnight I put another coat on um, it's all dried um, and now we're just going to finish it up with a little effect blue for the which good side? side good side and red for the bad side the dark side bad. okay So we've given a couple of minutes for the uh, spray paint to dry and now we're going to peel the vinyl away and see what's left behind.
it so now uh, I'm just going to screw these shells together very quickly uh, obviously we drilled the pocket holes yesterday so today we're going to use the Craig screws uh, once we get into the box here we go uh, so we drilled them all along the bottom of this one so say goodbye Luke you're about to go off screen disappeared he's still here don't worry okay so we're just going to screw this up together starting at one end making sure we're nice and aligned so that's both shelves done now ready for going up in your bedroom aren't we Luke? Yep. Um, so we'll get them in situ and then we'll put a couple of pictures up at the end. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of thing subscribe to the channel and if you want to see a bit more of Luke um, put it down in the comments below as well and um, we'll probably do something together again soon. Yep. Okay? Fantastic, thanks for watching.